welcome to take care guys this is sort of here and today i'm back with another video well if you remember this is my eureka and today i'm gonna rom install these uh, free rom on this uh, eureka well let me first show you the current android version i am actually using i'm actually using the android version 5.1.1 which means the cyanogen mod 12.1 and i'm on the cost on stock kernel i haven't done anything with this phone it's not even rooted so and this a os is actually runs on 6.0.1 make sure you have more than 80 percent battery uh, before you start doing this installation and uh, we, we need two files to install the zephyr rom one is a zephyr rom itself and uh, the second one is the open g apps the links are in the description below for you to check those out well here is a zephyr rom that i have uh, put in here and there is the open g apps uh, and it's a 64 arm g apps make sure you uh, mind it that it's a arm 64 g apps you and in the link in the website you can do what you can download whatever you want according to your preferences so mind mind it that you need to have a custom recovery like twrp and i'm just i'm just rebooting in the twrp so here is the twrp and i'm using the 2.8.6.0 version so right now uh, I have to wipe some things uh, so here is the uh, wipe data cache and Dalvik so just put in this swipe that there and it will not take some time so I'm back and uh, just for again for another safety I'm again uh, clearing the Dalvik cache the system data and cache uh, remember that don't uh, tick on the internal storage or micro sd card just this 4 one will be enough i'm doing it again because it's like a, a extra protection nothing more than that so it's gonna take again some time and i will be back in a short while so i'm back the wiping was done now the time has come to install those zips uh, so there is the installation option I think it's the internal storage uh, so you can see it's the internal storage so I'm not gonna use this one uh, I will be go I will go back uh, in the root and here is the external SD card first of all I will be installing the ROM mind it that you have to first install the ROM and then the OpenG apps here is a free OS uh, for tomato I mean the Eureka I'm again also adding another zip uh, it is the open g apps mind it that do install the arm 64 g app that will be uh, good for this one so right now the flashing is been about to get done so please stay with me for a short while and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for that the cpu temperature will rise uh, and the battery will drop uh, consistently so don't worry about that and it's gonna take some time so after uh, around 15 minutes i'm back and all the things has been done now the time has come to reboot the system so here i'm rebooting the system and now it is the default u logo that i can't change and i think uh, just a minute well here is the zephyr os logo and again let me tell you that in the very first booting it took me around 15 minutes for me so please uh, don't uh, get panicked if it's taking too long and the phone will heat up a little bit and uh, after that one uh, and this is the optimizing app display you can see this is a VeroS logo and there is the optimizing app out of uh, 17 out of 87 so after that you get the Android welcome screen and here are the, all the standard procedures that we all have to go through so I am just doing that in front of you and here are Wi-Fi networks to select. I will be doing that later, it's not needed right at the moment. So not now, just keep all the things right at the moment. The touch response is still good. Let me tell you that this is not a stable version. This is a, a completely in beta stage, in the developer stage. So uh, it is the drag down menu. While data is not on that's a good thing for me <laughs> i have no data back enabled so this is the your home screen and it looks quite great 
complete black wallpaper and i really love that and these are the apps pre-installed uh, music viper for android so that's a very good thing and i will be doing a full review within two or three days so don't worry about that so in the settings menu uh, uh, go to about phone settings uh, well this rom is pre-rooted i forgot to tell you that i think so i'm at android version 6.0.1 is the marshmallow the rom is pre-rooted so you don't have to worry about rooting this rom again so that's a great thing and uh, if you like this video do subscribe to my channel because i will be posting a full review of this within a few days so uh, i don't know why the recent app is not working i think there might be a customization option so for that you have to wait for around two to three days so i think this is for it and this is the gallery and i hope you like the video so give us a like if you don't like give us a dislike and do subscribe subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i will be coming with a full review within two to three days with all the necessary informations till then bye you people have a great great day and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye now